What's up my people? Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. And after you subscribe, click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So we're gonna kick it off my people with a sister and brother we get killed in a Westmoreland. Seeing so the mother have some things to say and may I go share with you know. Seeing Mom identifies Westmoreland siblings in viral video of bodies dumped in shallow grave two westmoreland siblings reportedly killed over scamming money have been identified by their mother after their lifeless bodies surfaced in a video that went viral late last week kenisha moody 22 and her brother kerrick moody both of top lincoln in grange hill westmoreland were reported missing shortly after they were last seen at a fast food establishment in the parish where they went to leave a package of ten thousand dollars for their mother last friday stephanie edwards who was in grange hill up to last friday confirmed in a telephone interview that the people seen in the video being buried in a shallow dirt grave beside each other are her children according to her she has not seen her children since a week ago which is not the usual practice for them last week sunday was the last time i saw them edwards said in fact this past friday was the last time she heard from her son who called to say she was to collect some money in green jill she noted that when she did not hear back from them sometime after 11 a.m to let her know they had got back home to saint elizabeth she reached out to them without success i called them and got no answer it is four phones they have and i have been calling the phones but no answer until now edward said from her saint elizabeth home she said it was sometime after 2 p.m on saturday that she was alerted to a video bearing the lifeless image of her children bodies where they were being buried in a shallow dirt grave my daughter's foot looked like her grandmother's and if you look to her leg she has a sink on her leg and she has a scar at the side of her eye the distraught mother of five said in reference to the elder of the two missing children she lamented that she raised her children the best way she could until they were old enough to be on their own now that they have become adults they have taken their own part they want to do their own thing she explained pointing out that some of the things they did she had no knowledge of as they kept everything secret however she admitted that based on a voice note now on social media it appears that her missing children were involved in scamming yes the voice note says it is because they bingo a food and go around the bus so that is the problem edwards theorized as the motive behind their abduction and apparent murder she is now asking members of the general public to assist in locating the shallow grave so that she can retrieve the remains of her children and give them a proper burial i am here pondering and wondering to see if i could get the two little pieces of bodies to bury i have no idea where they bury them she said she said while her daughter had entangled herself in illegal activities her son although living with his sister both in westmoreland and saint elizabeth was not involved in illegal activities i can't feel good they are my belly pain my body is numb i tell you it's not anything good edward said she's warning those responsible for abducting and killing of her children to remember that they too have families god is in the midst of everything and their day is going to come because god is not asleep she said on december 8th the black river police in saint elizabeth reported the two moody children missing Kerrick is of dark complexion slim built about 163 centimeters so that's five feet four inches tall while kenesha is of brown complexion slim built and about 135 centimeters so that's four feet five inches tall 
Reports are that about 7.15 a.m. Kerry and Kenisha were last seen leaving the cook shop in Grange Hill in the parish on Sunday, Deputy Superintendent Adrian Hamilton, acting commander of the Westmoreland Police Division, said the police had not yet been able to make any determination as to the location of the siblings. Yesterday, he said there was information suggesting that they were last seen in Westmoreland, but that there was nothing to actually confirm that at this time. We can't make any links yet because we have not had the evidence to make any such link, Hamilton said last night. No bodies were discovered, no location identified, and these persons have not returned home, he said. So, people, you hear it there. They mix up in a scamming, they make a piece of food, and it look like them them not share the food with the boss. You know what I mean? Me or some other things on social media say the female, she's part of the King Valley gang in a Westmoreland. She get charged for ammunition already and she get charged for something else. You know what I mean? So, to the police, she's allegedly a known criminal element and a she broke out her brother. You see me? Him go live with her. So him get caught up in the lifestyle. The mother said the brother not involved in them thing there. But you can't tell what your person not do when you are not around them. You see me? So leave your comments in the comment section. So these four man my people, they are listed as wanted. So I'm share this with you. The detectives assigned to the St. Andrew Central Division have listed four men as wanted for crimes committed across the parish. The police say Rush and Douglas, otherwise called Rush, of Garden Hill District in St. Andrew, Ash Wayne Mackenzie, otherwise called Mengs, a 27-year-old, of Anderson Road, Kingston 5, and Calvin Simon, otherwise called CJ, a 19-year-old of Garden Hill District in St. Andrew, are wanted for murder. Meanwhile, Nicholas Williams, otherwise called Pooh Bear, a 20-year-old of University Christian Kingston 6, is wanted for shooting with intent. The men are being urged to turn themselves in to the halfway tree police immediately. Members of the public are all the public are also being reminded that it is a criminal offense to harbor a fugitive. So that are that my people and we are gonna move on. Gunmen rob a KFC restaurant in downtown Kingston taking over hundred grand. Four men held up and rob patrons and employees at a at the KFC restaurant located on King Street in downtown Kingston this morning. According to reports from the City Central Police, at approximately 11.06 a.m., the men entered the establishment and robbed persons of their phones and other um, personal devices. Head of the Kingston Central Police Superintendent Beresford Williams told our news team that the thieves also stole cash from the store amounting to over one hundred thousand dollars jaja man the marawal kfc so let me know what you think in the comment section people i'm moving on saint and father shot dead while three-year-old daughter nursing g-u-n-s-h-o-t wounds a man was shot and killed and his daughter was s-h-o-t and wounded by unknown assailants in their community in St. Anne at the weekend. Dead is 40 year old Arlando Atkinson, otherwise called Junior, a contractor of Lilyfield District in Bamboo. Reports from the St. Anne's Bay Police are that about 8 15 pm on Saturday, Atkinson and his daughter were in his vehicle when armed men approached and opened gunfire at them. The police were summoned on an arrival. Atkinson was seen with GUNSHOT wounds to the upper body and his daughter wounded. They were transported to the hospital where Atkins was pronounced dead and his daughter was treated and released. 
So I'm glad for you know say the data alright, you know what I mean? I don't know where this man involved in you know? So people leave your comments in the comment section. So we are gonna move on. Life sentence for a woman convicted of killing her boyfriend's spouse. A high court judge has determined that a sentence of life imprisonment is appropriate for a Portland woman who was convicted of stabbing her boyfriend's common law spouse, a German woman, more than 30 times in 2014. According to the judge, such a life sentence was deserving as the 41-year-old convicted woman who was a livestock farmer walked several miles in darkness and invaded the German national's premises for the sole purpose of murdering her with a knife she, the convict, had in her possession. The convict, Shereen Campbell, was ordered to serve 20 years and 5 months in prison before being eligible for parole consideration. She was found guilty of the murder of 49-year-old Youth, youth Soy Tibir by a seven-member jury which returned a unanimous verdict at the end of a 12-day trial in the Portland Circuit Court in July of this year. The Office of Director of Public Prosecutions in a statement at the time said Campbell inflicted over 40 stab wounds to the victim but at the sentencing hearing on friday presiding judge justice von simit said campbell gave the german woman more than 30 stabs it was also heard at the hearing that campbell has not accepted responsibility for the crime as she still maintains that she was framed by her boyfriend tyrone nugent who was also the common law husband of the deceased claiming that he inflicted the stab wounds nugent was also on trial for the german woman's murder however the murder charge against him was discharged after a successful application of no case um of no case to answer and a formal verdict of not guilty the judge said it was concerning to him that Campbell had seemingly not recognized the seriousness of her actions. Despite Campbell, no previous convictions and a good social inquiry report, the judge sentenced her to life imprisonment, which appeared to upset the convicted woman as she stood in the prisoner's dock. According to the DPP statement in July, the Crown case was based on circumstantial evidence which included jealousy on the part of Campbell pertaining to the intimate living relationship between her boyfriend Nugent and the deceased youth Soitibir. Campbell, at the time of the incident, had been in an intimate relationship with Nugent since November 2011. Subsequently, Nugent started living with Soitiber at Park Mount, Portland, as her common law spouse. Nugent nonetheless continued the intimate relationship with Campbell on occasions between 2011 and 2012. Campbell would spend the night at Soitiber home in Park Mount at the invitation of Nugent when the German woman was away from the house. So the article are very long people. So I'm going to explain the rest side. See? So one night, the woman that had the keep woman, see? the woman were dead, she come from Germany, come take away the woman who kill her man. The man did her 29 at the time. So I say, she did her mostly 46, 49 in other region, the many member, and the woman who kill her at 41. See? So she take away the woman man. So it look like say a couple times well, the woman where the man used to there with first go up at the yard, go cuss with the white woman or whatever. So the night when she go kill her, she go up at the yard, dog them a bark or something. See? So the white woman come out and I tell her to leave because the last time she forward up there, it, it never good. You know what I mean? Things go bad. So by the time she fear talk to her, she rush her and give her a couple of stab well and take a taxi go to one place named saint margaret Bay, go link a man where her friend me don't know if them did a sleep together or what she spend the night there 
when the man you know come home him find the white woman cover in her blood stab up on something seeing him call the police the police them forward and them go all and pan the woman with the stabbing a saint margaret's beer and when the forensic check them find her blood pan the woman clothes seeing them lock her up and everything so when the trial start you know the, the, the woman who do the stabbing, she won't say a fear knife that, you know what I mean? And she won't say she did that the yard and the woman tell her she to leave the yard. So when the trial start, you know, she say, I the man stab up the woman and I frame she. So in the article, remember, me mention them all up on the man. The man did get locked up and everything, but them have them final no case and them send him home you see it so leave your comments let me know what you guys think in the comment section yeah and like and subscribe